Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, and let us do the good work for today. Uh, many of us, we heard the Muslims speaking about what it's called the miracle of number 19 in the Quran. And for sure, there is many, uh, you know, from the faces we know today, they try to deceive and they try uh, to spread this idea. Uh, the one we see in the screen, his name is Shabir Ali, and I made a challenge for him to repeat what he say in his program in a live debate with me. 15 minute debate. I don't want him for two hours. A man in such an age should not be a liar and a deceiver. And then we come to the mention of the word 19. So over it are 19. If we count all of the letters in the, from the beginning of that chapter all the way to the word 19, just before the word 19, there are 361 letters, which is 19 times 19. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. And uh, which believers, and uh, even to give certainty to the people of the book who might be looking at the Quran. And uh, at the same time, this same phenomenon will cause people who want to doubt to say, well, you know, what does God mean by all of this, uh, to deride the information. Now, this verse, which goes into such great detail explaining the, the wisdom behind the 19 angels, actually comprises 57 words, which is 19 times 3. Now, you see, all those fabrication, which this man, he say, I challenge him and I will make a challenge. You don't even need to call me or to talk to me. I challenge him to open the chapter he is talking about and to count the 57 words he just said to us they are here. I made a video and I counted the words one by one in many ways, trying to find how we can find the 57 words and I could not find them. And we can do it right now, right here in the front of you. You know, uh, Shabir Ali, once he mentioned this in his debate with David Wood, and this coward, he will never debate me. The reason he mentioned this, because none of you knows Arabic. So how are you going to count it? We can say whatever you want. Are you going to know even which one is the word? Is the, where does the word start? Where is the word end? Where is the 57 words, you idiot? You liar. I want to see them. Who is a Muslim? Want to make a video. It's a challenge for all the Muslims in the world. Who is the Muslim? Who speak Arabic who want to make a video for us and count the 57 words in this verse liars liars will end in fire unbelievable but the issue is not here a person who have no miracle he have to find something they could not find anything. Even their God, he says, we're refraining from sending miracles. So now they have to come with something called mathematical. And guess what? This is a Muslim website called Al Aluka. Al Aluka, a Sharia, a website for the Sharia. If you don't believe me, here we go. Al Aluka, Islamic, very, very Islamic website. I should I believe it's run by terrorists. In this website, they said clearly that this is a big fat lie, and all the numbers in this claim is fabricated. And not only that, they are accusing us, Christians and Jews, that we are the one who came with this. So later, the Muslim, they will discover it's fake and they will leave Islam. <laughs> and here you will see, they are talking about the number 19 and how the number 19 is nothing but a fabrication. All the calculation is absolutely a scam. 
and as usual they accuse the Christians and the Jews to be behind to be behind this miracle or let us say fabricated miracle and what is the purpose is to later Muslims they will notice that this is a lie and they were deceived and they will leave and here they are doing the calculation for you for those who speak Arabic and they will find that all as an example they say that the number the numbers of uh, 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 Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim repeated in the Quran 19 times and uh, uh, the word ism repeated in the Quran 19 times and the word lafzul uh, jalala it occurred 2698 times and it's equal to 19142 this is the calculation of the scammers and the word Ar-Rahman repeated 57 times, the same as we heard from uh, Shabir Ali talking about number 57, which is equal to 19x3. And the word Ar-Rahim repeated 114, and it's equal to 19x6, etc. And then he here is say, but if we go and study, we will find that the one who did calculated he did not use he used only the letters of the word bism not bism and we will find that the word bism it's repeated only three times which means isn't so he said the fabricator he took it off he did not calculate and actually I mentioned that before so here the Muslim website agree with me here he says the word Allah they claim it is repeated 2698 times. In fact, it's repeated 980 times. And they are giving you the dictionary, dictionary Al Mufahras, page number 51, to give you reference for that. And then they say <clears throat> the word Ar Rahim repeated 144 times. And they say this is not true. Actually, it is 95 times. <laughs> and here he says and we had a yet actually you know what let me let me open Google translation hold on so you guys you will you know I mean people who don't speak Arabic they will not say uh, we do not know if he's saying even the truth uh, what why, what if he's saying something not true hold on Google translate all right now we will take the website as it is I will copy the website as it is not only the thing see if we can translate the whole page um, I cannot click in it um let us see maybe if we need to click if we do here okay let's see now all right that's better even though the translation will not be accurate all right you will see here they are talking about how this this miracle is a fabricated uh And here they are giving you names of uh, of the doctors who work in this study. They are of uh, professional, supposed to Muslims. Uh, nineteen is the number nineteen. Criticize in the beginning of you know, it's okay. Uh, symptom nineteen can't be divided by others. Okay, and then they say uh, here, as I told you, like nineteen x one forty two. But those who have a computer should review these numbers. For those, and for those who do not have an, a computer, see uh, Lexon index uh, of the Quran. Uh, then he said, as I showed you, that he said that the word Allah repeated 2698, but in fact it's repeated 980 times. And then he says, and thus, this is a clear that there are, the translation is funny, is a lie. 
in the count of letters all right and all one the one who came behind all of, all of this garbage is a guy his name Rashad Khalifa who he claimed even to be a messenger of Allah all right now he he come here to the to the verses which is speaking about uh, the same the same chapter uh, uh, Sabir Ali is talking about the same one is nothing but a fabrication there is no 57 words it's a scam and this is all is a lie but all is depend in one thing that I'm talking to people who do not know Arabic and they cannot count it and I can go right now <clears throat> and I can try to count the one the, the 57 words and you will see there's no way we can reach one 57 words it's a scam if I start counting right now I don't know if this will be boring for you or not and I asked Sabir Ali this coward to count for us we you know first of all in Arabic it's very hard to know really what is count as a word but I'm not going to count letters so I will count those okay this is word one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six <clears throat> I don't know to count this or not but I will let it go now uh, 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 I will type here 32 so we will remember with this one here is 32 all right <clears throat> Thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, uh, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, <coughs> forty-six, forty-seven, uh, forty-eight. Uh, 49 50 that's what put the word 50 here all right if there is any Muslim is watching if you like to call and account with me, please let, let me know. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is if I count what it's called tools, which mean I'm counting those. You see here, I'm counting uh, wama as one word. If you go and see Muslims count, you will see the uh, they count the wa as a word, which means if I count the wa, I will end with maybe eighty. You see, if you notice with me here, as an example, I counted wama. Let me make it in uh, in the blue. I did not count the letter wa by itself here you see it I did not count it I did not count this wa I did not count uh, uh, here wa I did not count wa I count all wa la together you know uh, I did not count here wa I did not count here wa here I did not count it I can I counted both together wama 
all right and here wa so all of those I did not count them and still the number will not go come come to be the way they are trying to make it so where they are bringing the numbers from we do not know it is nothing but a fabrication now this is not the problem the problem is let us say it is even 57 he mentioned that the 30 verses before it contained 57 words too if we go and count them we will see the same thing it's a lie we can count them and you will see this is absolutely a lie so but let me tell you what is the secret behind the number 19 in this verse in this verse here it says over it there's 19 supposedly 19 angels look with me and you will see right away and you will notice what the reason actually you know what I think if I open the other website that would make it easier for us <clears throat> let us go All right, I think that will make it easier for us. Do you notice with me here in this Quran? There is something you know, you don't speak Arabic, but you can see with me what I see in the screen. Did you notice what is the end of the verses in Arabic? You do not know Arabic, yes, but you can see you have eyes. Do you notice what, the, what is the last letter here? All of them. They have the same letter. Bashar, Sakar, Sakar, Tadar, Bashar, Tisata Ashar. All of them they end with the letter Ra. Muhammad is doing nothing but he keeping the 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 the, 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 the tone. He's making a rabbi music. It's mean nothing. Have nothing to do with miracles. It is just Ra, Ra, Ra. You see it, Ra, <laughs> Ra. He have to keep it. You know, what kind of God, <clears throat> excuse me, my, my voice is not good. What kind of God he have to make it end with the same letter? Because simply this is the same as Arabic music. So the meaning is not important. This is why you see he is repeating the same thing many times. Why it have to be to end? What, what, what is the necessity with the letter? So the necessity of the letter ending would make it number 90, 19. It's like in Arabic, you know, like in English, you are making you are making a, a rap, and you say, uh, <clears throat> "I I saw the the the, uh, the cat uh, uh, stuck, and she was stuck between, and I saw her, you know, uh, asking, uh, I need some, uh, uh, let us say, call the number nineteen, and I told her, uh, 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 you know, what, what do you want me to do? She said to me, uh, uh, count with me to fifteen. So maybe I can go lose weight and can go out of uh, here. Uh, uh, I, I don't know, like I'm not good in English. Uh, but, you know, you can come with English options of Arabic words and with the letter Ra, but there is no meaning. What the heck is that? If you read the, even the English translation, you will see how stupid it is. There's no meaning. I shall, I shall uh, 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 put him in hell fire, burn in, in, in the burning. And do you know what is the burning? I mean, <laughs> so all what happened here, Muhammad is trying to keep <clears throat> the same letter at the end. And here it happened that number 19, is the only one fit. We cannot fit, we cannot put 13, we cannot put 14, we cannot put 17. You see in English, <clears throat> all numbers after, after, uh, uh, uh 12 like from 12 to 19 all of them teen 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 right okay so you have you have a certain numbers you can use in arabic the only one fit with this kind of point which is a stupid it's not even a point he have no choice except to use the number this atta ashar he can use he can use actually he can use ihda ashar okay but this atta ashar fit better with the writing 
so now he above it there is 19 and 19 what what, what, what those 19 those 19s are the guardian of the hellfire now you see when somebody says to me there's a guardian of hellfire uh, it's like as if you can escape from the hellfire anyway <laughs> do we need really guardian for hellfire what is the hellfire exactly what do you mean you need 19 angels to guard the hellfire it's a fiction because if this is hellfire and there's nobody can go without permission from Allah so who need guardians who need keepers what keepers would do are you getting my point it's like saying to me okay maybe I can sneak out of the heaven if one of those angels he is not uh, aware of me so 19 angels are appointed by Allah for the hellfire and look what it says that you see in the in the in the Muslim translation they say here <clears throat> uh, all Muslim translation they say their number and I would in my translation I would try to do it my number but I'm trying to find how the word at home come as number too but the issue is this verse saying and we made the angels of the fire their number as a trial okay their number as a trial for what trial for those who will uh, or who have a book and those who this believe what does that mean that's mean that you want one day in the judgment day those who have a belief they will not they will witness the 19 uh, angels and they will praise Allah and they will be safe but those who don't believe the 19 angels they will insert and say inside their anus as we showed you before a chain which is the length of the whole universe so you will notice with me here that this is nothing but a fiction and a stupid stories there's a book it's called the book of Enoch this is not from the Bible this is this is a fabricated book where this guy he start counting names of angels uh, angels number one angel number two number, number three number four number three number five and then uh, 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 angel number 19 so and every angel have a name and every name everyone have a duty so Muhammad obviously is you know is copying it from others but the number 19 is specifically is not used because it's 19 because it is really God told him to use 19 as much it is about poetry and number 19 in Arabic fit perfectly with all the poet coming after that or let us say the saja we call it like rap as you see here <clears throat> all of it have to end with er look even this verse here have to end again with the letter R you see the letter R this is letter R in English if you go down you will see all the verses end with R you see R look it have to end with R have nothing to do with the number what a number it is Khamar Adbar Asfar Kabbar Yata'akhar so he have to maintain certain letter at the end and this is why he chose here number 19 which is this atashar nothing more nothing less have nothing to do with any uh, uh, miracle or uh, etc same time you know uh, it's funny that the shabir ali he is concentrating in the, uh, the miracle miracle of the quran but he did not notice that the quran even do not know how to divide the inheritance of a family as long there is a miracle of numbers what kind of god he cannot divide the you know divide correctly how the inheritance will go what kind of God you do not know how the baby is created how the mountain is formed how the rain is is made how the ice is made so now this God he knows he they make a miracle about number 19 because you do not know how to calculate the numbers and if you try to calculate them and as I showed you I calculate in the front of you and even I, cal I, I was by the way I was calculating wrongly wrongly 
trying to add as many as I can you see as I told you I was calculating as an example those both as one word but those are not one word those are not one word all of these are not one word I was adding them here why I did not even count it all those I did not count I was counting uh, like here each one of those like, let us make an, the one I did not count hold on <clears throat> and the one I count I will make the one I did not count in red the letter here I did not count I count all of this together two two are counting as one and you will notice the same for the same word repeated twice so I did not count this letter I count both as one I did not count this letter at all I did not count uh, this one at all I did not count uh, let us see here I did not count this letter I count both as one wama not wa and ma separated so if I wa la I count wa la together but the fact they are not one they are two wama is not one it is two so I was trying to help them to make it fit in the best way maybe we can make it work here I did not count them as two I count them as one so why I did not count it I counted wama still we could not make it work in the way they are trying to fabricate it and then when you say to me 57 the count you know I wish they can make like uh, let us say a list of calculation a list of the words and they say okay the, the num uh, uh, word number one is etc number two etc 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 and then we will find out how they made the 57 but it's impossible as you see same time when they spoke about Bismillah Rahman Rahim is equal to number 19 and we showed it even from the Muslim website <clears throat> They are saying this is absolutely a big fat lie. In Arabic, there's nothing, it's called bism. Nothing. You see, in, in the Quran here, it says bism. Let me open, uh, open my Skype, so in case there is a Muslim, he wanna call us. In case, you never know. You know, maybe a Muslim, he is smart, and he feel like he's, uh, he wanna call. Skype. All right, our Skype is open in case there is a Muslim on a call. All right. If there is any Muslim would like to call, and especially if he speak Arabic, that will be good. In Arabic, we don't have anything in the language, in all language, anything is called bism, as you see in the screen. Bism is a big fat lie. And actually, they agree with me in the Muslim website. If you remember here, we translated this thing into English. What is the translation? Here we go. It will let us go where they mention the word bism. And somebody trying to call it to see who is this. 
You are a Muslim answer. Are you the one who say the bad word? <coughs> answer, Abdul. Yes, Abdul. Yes, child. How are you, Abdul? So what do you want to say to us? Yes, child. I want to say to you one thing. What one? What, you don't want to talk about the topic? Child molester like your prophet? What are you are saying, child? I have not followed your uh, topic. I have just come. Just come to for what? For in, in your uh, YouTube. Yeah, and what do you want? I want to ask you one thing. Hmm. Don't ask me the size of my shoes. What what is the reason? Uh huh. What is the reason? Uh huh. Of all this misery. Uh huh. That Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did. Uh -huh. what, for what reason? For what reason? Give me what was this reason? Oh, to get uh, to get women to rape women to get money, vagina, sex, power. So what reason? What misery? Muhammad, you have a misery? He have 13 wives for what? Is that a misery? Somebody have a misery. He have 13 houses and he have tons of slaves and servants to, ser to, to serve him. And that is supposed to be misery for you. How many wives you have? What, was it a law before, before he was a prophet that you cannot have more than 13 wives? This is another question. A person who have a no, suffering no, no, no. from a, a person, a person who is suffering from misery, how he can afford to have thirteen houses and thirteen wives and hundreds of slaves? Child, answer my answer. answer, answer. The, the child is your prophet, the one who do not know how to pronounce his name. He spent his life having sex, but he did not have time to learn how to read, how to write. Now answer me. How somebody is suffering from misery? What misery is? that to have the fifth from every attack what misery it is to make verses saying that anyone go to the booty the first and the biggest and the best booty go to the prophet is that a misery blah 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 blah, blah. listen mm. listen child you know how many battles he fight how many what you know how many battles battles you know your fight. prophet never fought anyone he used to hide in the end at the end Show me, sure? show me the reference where Muhammad he attacked and he was holding a sword and he killed somebody. He was a coward. The only time Muhammad he ever fight when they broke his teeth and here he, he was he was hiding in the back. Is that true? You said you said now he have never fight. And yes, he, he never fight. They throw a rock far, from far away at him and they broke his teeth. He was always hiding in the back. And where did did this happen? You don't know. I ask you, you are the teacher. You sure, you're sure. Well, let, let's see when this happened. Do you see my screen? <clears throat> yes, child, I see your screen. One more time, you say, child, I'm going to, to send you back to your mommy. Here we go. Uh, Here we look, go. Look, this is the hate in the front of your child molester, look, like your prophet. Why, this is you, this is this is your this is your child. prophet. This is your prophet. They broke they broke they broke his teeth. Do you see it? And this is from the beginning of Islam. After that, Muhammad never had any fight with anyone. We don't lie. We don't make things. We don't make things up. What is your proof that he have never fight anyone? Show me. That? Show me how he fight. Where? Go ahead. I don't have the screen. Then shut up. No, no, you want screen. Show me the reference. I don't care. You know, having a screen or not does not change anything. Yes, I know. Show me the reference. You're a prophet. Is a coward. Here we go. He lost his teeth. He lost his I teeth. He, he you see, the Muslims here, they are saying that's, you know, like the translation is not really good. It says, huh? All his front teeth is gone. All of them. How this guy even can recite Quran after that? So if Muhammad want to say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, he say, Bismillah Try to take your teeth off and let us see how what, you can, what you can say. A prophet of God who recite Quran, he have no teeth no more. How he can recite Quran? Where did it say he have no teeth? It says in the front of you. It says, the mo the um, uh, a molar of the messenger of Allah was broken, and he was wounded, and the blood started pouring down from his face. What is molar? In Arabic, I don't know what is in English actually. For me, rubaiyatahu, the, the, all the teeth of the Muhammad in the front, uh, up and down, they are gone. 
Amolar. I don't care what English is saying. For me, I read it in Arabic. Here we go. Do you speak Arabic or you are not? In Arabic no, speaking. I'm, I'm so you pray to Allah in Arabic, but you do not know Arabic. It says in the front of you, Kusirat Ruba'iyatu Rasulullah. Do you see it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, where is your God, Allah, to protect Muhammad, who is going to recite Quran? How he can recite Quran and have no teeth? Why didn't he die if he was not protected? Will he die? Who told you he did not die? In this fight, in this battle. Not this fight. Later, he was he was killed like uh, a rat. A, a woman, she called him by poison. Did he die by poison like a rat? Did he die like a? Did he die? Did he die by poison like a rat? Yes or no? Did you know you? I'm asking you. Did he die by poison like a rat? Yes or no? No. Here we go. Shut up. And this is and this is the hadith. This is Sahih Bukhari. Here we go. Answer. Read it. You know? Don't tell me no. It's in the front of you. It's in the front of you. Shut up and get lost. Don't call me again, you kid. Child molester like your prophet. I am the child. Donkey. I just allow you to speak so I can spank you. That's all. The prophet in his element in which he died, he used to say, Oh, Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. And at this time, I feel if my orta is being cut off from this poison. How dare you even to speak to me? Do you know you are talking to who? You have a screen, you don't have a screen, I don't care. A prophet who have no teeth, yet he will recite the Quran correctly. <coughs> yes, Abdul. All the way. All right. If you if you love Jesus, show your face coward. <laughs> I love Jesus, my friend. I love Jesus very much. And I'm not showing my face because I am not seeking glory. Jesus, he said, if you give with the right hand, don't show, don't let the left hand know. All those people who I help, they do not even know me, even if they see me in the street. And this is a blessing for me. I'm seeking no glory for myself. Otherwise, I can show myself and trust me. Instead of having uh, uh, one thousand watching, I will, I will, I will get you know maybe fifty thousand watching. That will help me a lot, actually, to promote what I do. But I'm seeking no glory of myself. And you are the coward. What about you say the same to your God? I say, here we go. You coward, Allah, show me your face. Show me your ass. Forget about your face. If the one who don't show his face is a coward, that's mean your God himself is the biggest coward in the world. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah, he never spoke except from behind the veil? Why? He is a female? Hmm? So you're accusing me to be a coward and you want to see my face. Why you want to see my face? You are, you are the coward. You're trying to just to find anything. You cannot answer me. So now show me your face. If I show you my face, can you answer me after that? You could not show me an answer after I show you my face. So can you answer me after I show you my face? Donkeys. Your God, he never spoke to anyone except from behind the veil. Do you see it? Maybe your God is a coward too. Or maybe he's a female. So the Muslims, when they speak about what they call miracles, is nothing but fictions. And look here. To Allah belong all things, and for Him, it's up to Him. He give the offspring of male or female. So Allah now is the one who make them, who make you male or female. And I thought this is have nothing to do with Allah. This is have to do with the sperm. What Allah have to do with this? And by the way, today scientists and doctors they can decide the gender. They can take the 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 the, the male is, is sperm and they fertilize the egg of the woman. If the woman she want to have a male boy or a child or a female, they can decide. Allah is not in charge. What Allah is it? You know, this God he do not know how the baby is made. He do not know how the sperm is about. He do not. He think even the women have a sperm coming from her ribs. 
yet the Muslims they come to us and they say the Quran have a miracle and miracle number 19 19 dokies you know kick you in your bum <clears throat> What do you think, Abdul? The Quran says that nobody uh, uh, by the way, it's Allah who made you. It's Allah who made you. If you don't, if you could not have uh, babies, it's Allah who made you not to have babies. You see it? If you don't have babies. And your wife she can't uh, born a child that's me because Allah he don't want to I mean why what's your business I understand that God might help me to do that if you want to do a miracle but why God will not let me have a baby does that mean that Muhammad he could not have a baby because Allah don't want him to have a baby in different verse in the Quran the Quran claim that nobody knows what is in the womb except Allah. <clears throat> nobody knows. Is that right? You can go to the clinic and the doctor will tell you. Actually, now we just mentioned that you can you can decide even the gender of your baby from now on. Before even you made your wife a breath net. What is the miracle in that? Is that real or this is fiction? When you claim that Allah is the one who knows and only Allah who knows this, and then we find that not only Allah knows. Allah the one who knows what is invisible the unknown then we find in the chapter of Al-Anfal Allah he says to the Muslims go and fight and you will win and then the Muslims they went to fight and they lost so Allah have to change the numbers of the fighters read and love <clears throat> see the Quran so Allah encouraged the fighters to go and engage in war they went and they got their ass kicked Right away before they arrive home, Muhammad, he changed. He gave them, oh, uh, Allah gave me this verse, replacement for the first verse. The first verse saying that 20 of you can fight 200, which means 1 to 10. Muhammad exaggerated with his lies, trying to encourage his men to go and don't worry, you will win. So he exaggerated too much to the point it became too much to win. How in the world you can win 1 to, to 10? Well, it can happen if really God is in their side, even if it's one to one million. But Muhammad, because he's a scam, they did not win. They came back and he told them this. Now, Allah, he lightened your burden for you, for you knew that you have a weakness on you. Well, Allah do not know that I have a weakness a second ago, an hour ago, a day ago. So why he lightened their task now? What happened right away? Because simply Allah just now found out that this is too much. This is a lie. They cannot win 100 to 1000. They can win 1 to 2. So look what happened. He corrected the number from saying 20 will overcome 200, which means 1 to 10. He said that 1 to 2, 100 shall overcome 200. <laughs> Do 
Do you see how he used the mistake? And this is Allah, the all knowing. A hundred of you will overcome 200. But before, he just said that 20 of you can fight 200 and a and, 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 and hundred can fight 1,000. Do you see how he used the different is? From 100 can fight 1,000 to 100 can fight 200. How? The God of the Jews, when he promised them victory, they have victory. That's it. They have victory. It doesn't matter how big the enemy is. He promised them victory. What 100, 200? Are they fighting with Allah or they are fighting alone? Is the Muslim believer are fighting by support of the angels as Muhammad told them or they are fighting alone? Muhammad told them that the angels are fighting with you. So who need 100 and 2,000? What are you talking about? One angel can destroy the enemy of uh, the, the, all, the, all the army of the enemy. <clears throat> and the funny this Abdul, he's excited and he want to call me a child. Why Muhammad having all this misery? What this purpose? Misery? What misery of what? Money. He became a king, a Bedouin guy who have no idea what he who he is. Nobody even know who his father. According to your Islamic books, he was born four years after his father died. What misery! From no one to be a ruler of the Arabian Peninsula. Good for you, Johnny. Johnny, he said, I accept Jesus. Good for you, my brother, and thank you for those who made donation. Are you a new convert, Johnny? Are you a new convert? Are you a, a, a born again Christian, my friend? I hope you are. And by the way, if you see the Muslim numbers, like the, uh, a Muslim she is saying in the text, there's 1.8 billion. Yesterday it was 0.6. Now it's 1.8. Just wait two months from now, there are two billions. In six months from now, they will say we are four billions. The, the king of Jordan, he went in the meeting with the with the uh, uh, with the Trump, where Trump he brought all the the dummy leaders of Islam. And they put him in the front of him like rabbits and he was schooling them about what is right what's wrong the king of jordan he says we muslims 1.6 billion one point where, where, where is the number coming from what what how you calculate the numbers how fast the numbers are growing even rabbits cannot have that number last year it was 1.4 the year the year after 1.6 Six months from now, they will say one point. They actually already here we go. We saw one point eight. Two months from now, they will say two billions. And by the way, if numbers will make a difference, we are a lot more than you. The atheists are a lot more than you. The Hindus are a lot more than you. The Buddhists are 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 more than you. So your numbers is useless. If we go now to Indonesia, how many people they knows anything about Islam? The biggest Islamic country in the world is the last one to know who, who is Allah and who is Muhammad. If we go to Bangladesh, 60, 60 to 80 percent of the Muslim population, they are suffering from the lowest income in the world. No education, no government no security no jobs and yet they are muslims why allah don't help them the one who have the will the, the wealth is the one who discover all in their countries and they are very small tiny minority why allah don't be fair and make the oil for indonesia instead of saudi arabia look at those saudi 
after 70 years of oil they don't even have a, a bathroom they don't know even what the sewage mean what the point of the money they have what about Allah helping the people of Bangladesh poor people they are Muslims and they are praying to Allah And not only that, Allah is sponsoring the Muslims who have who get money and their money so go to America. The most rich country, maybe in the world, because it's small, Qatar. They have the biggest base of America, American army in the world. And not only that, the base is paid in full by the prince of Qatar, which means the American there they enjoy in full time freedom. Free electricity, free housing, uh, uh, free water, free food, free, 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 free. Have you ever heard of such a generous, like how generous he is? Why? Because they are protecting him. Without him, they, they, everybody will eat them alive. The miracle I see it about Allah that he is deaf and he cannot hear the Muslim prayer they pray to him every day but he never answer he do not know what he's talk, talking about he's a deaf he's a blind and he is ignorant Uh, I just received this message from my lady I'm not going to show her name she is from Indonesia and she sent me this message I'm so happy for you just I want to be sure that nobody can see your image hi CP uh, I am from Indonesia I was Islam and his English is not good, but it's fine. Now, I, I think she want to say I converted to Jesus after seeing your video. Thanks for your video. We are happy for you, sister. And let me accept you in my list. And I just texted her in case she is not listening. <clears throat> Let us see. We have a guy, his name Abdullah, slave of Allah. Okay, slave of Allah. Call me if you are on air. Fine. All right, Ambar, we can explain that maybe later. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> so to make it sh uh, short, when somebody, he have a book is full of errors, stupidity, they try to fabricate miracles and they say the Quran is full of scientific miracles as we see in many websites and those and all of those websites by the way they they share one thing that you don't understand what they are talking about all of them they share one thing the numbers are there you do not speak the language you cannot count it you cannot check if it's true or not and I made tons of videos to show you like when they say the word uh, uh, life is repeated, etc. We search it in, in, in the Quran, we find this is, a, this is a lie. The word death is the opposite number. It's, not, it's a lie. Yes, Abdul. Hello? Yes, Abdul, go ahead. We are live on air. Are you live right now? Yes, how I can help you? <clears throat> uh, 
Okay. So, so you are a Christian prince, huh? Yes, I am. And you? Okay. You are the slave of Allah. I'm the slave of Allah Jalla Jalalu. And why Allah he the slaves? Huh? Why Allah he need the slaves? He created slaves. He's he, the one. He created slaves. Okay, so so he is a slave, a slave vendor. Creates, you can never question him. Okay. Get it? Oh, okay. Well, I can. You cannot. I can. You can never. Okay. If you are questioning, you are shaitan. You are devil. Well, this is according to you. You know, for me, I believe that your God is shaitan. Listen, you know, I'll just tell you something. Uh, so, uh, what kind of you, God? What kind of God? What kind of no, God? What are kind, you a my friend? What, what kind of what kind of God? He say, in the case of murder, free white man for the free white man, slave for the slave, and women for the women. Is that God or this is a crazy person? Listen to me first. Are you Christian or or were you Muslim before? I am a Christian. I'm not a Muslim. I never been stupid all my life. So you've never been Muslim. Okay. I never been stupid all my life. I told you. What, what made you put this interest to become? Uh, uh, to uh, like become learn about Islam. Well, I like I like to save Muslims. This is my interest, my friend. You, you like to save Muslims? Yes, from going to hell. I don't want to see any Muslim going to hell. So how are Muslims going to hell? How do you because know they going believe to? they believe in Shaitan. They think he is his God. They call him Allah. So first, describe Shaitan. What is Shaitan? Shaitan is somebody promised me sex, vagina, penises, long penises, strong sex. He deceived me by 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 sexuality and money. He promised me I will be rich so he can deceive me. This is what Shaitan do. Shaitan, he used all the material in this earth to deceive us to not to follow God. And this is what your, what your Allah do. He promised you endless penis. He promised you that you will have the power of 40 men. He promised you that you will have a vagina and you will have a penis so which is going to fit for it. All these claims that you're making, right? All these claims that I'm not, you're I'm, like, I'm not making claims. I can show it to you. Do you want to challenge me? No, you say because you, you are saying penises. You're, you're, yes, you're, I'm you're saying, uh, yes, uh, yes, I'm yes, I'm I'm saying penises. I'm not I'm not lying. In order, in order for you to have a debate, right? Mm. Listen. Mm. So in order for you to have a debate first, you have to like fix your language. You know the the, the way that you speak. Okay. It's not like, okay. What what crazy. word what word I said what what word I said what word I said your God did not mention. Hold on. What word I said your God did not mention. Are you saying to me your God Allah is not polite? Penises, Okay, so did Allah mention the word vagina? Did Allah did Allah mention the word vagina? Yes or no? Did Allah mention the word vagina in the did Allah mention the word vagina in the Quran? Yes or no? What are you saying? Did Allah mention the word vagina in the Quran? Yes or no? Never, never. Chapter twenty-four, verse number thirty-one. It says, "Read with me." Okay. Read. Chapter twenty-four. Oh, wait, just wait. Verse number thirty-one. Okay, chapter. Hmm. Just wait a minute. <coughs> so I have a question for you. Just uh, no problem. Let's, let's finish one. We will finish. I I said the word penis. I will show you the word penis. I said the word vagina. I will show you the word uh, vagina. I said yes. to you what whatever I said to you, I will prove it to you. I don't say things for my own. So you are using Allah now to be not polite and not to be a person of respect. Shame on you. You are insulting your God because you just said the one who mentioned the word vagina is not respectable. You you are the one who is insulting the God of. You see, no, no, no. You said to me, you said to me, fix your language. Everybody heard you. You said to me, fix your language. And I said to you, which word I use in my language, it's not good for you. You said to me, you say vagina, you say penis. I will show you vagina, I will show you penis. And now you just so insulted your God and your prophet. That came to Quran. So which chapter are you talking about? Chapter 24, verse number 31. There's many, many, many chapters. I'm just, I'm just, I'm showing you one of them. Verse number one? 31, chapter 24, verse number 31. <laughs> 31 just wait <coughs> okay okay mm. you said and say to, to say to the believing woman that they should lower their gaze and guard their modesty what is the okay. word what is the word modesty you speak arabic don't lie okay listen first we no 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 why you lie what modesty does it say vagina or no does it say vagina? Does it say vagina? Does it say vagina? Yes or no? It says for it says for Ujahun. I speak Arabic better than you. It says for Ujahun. Listen, you are talking about first. Uh, I have this one question for me. Have you ever seen a person that 
you know, that he knows, like, you know, he, he, he knows about math only, and he's teaching you English. My friend, why you are changing topic? I don't, I, your, your prophet do not know math, he do not know English, he don't even know Arabic. Does, yeah, is the I'm word, saying. is the word Faraj, is the word Faraj here, verse number 24, the verse before it, 2430, it says, وَيَحْفَظُوا فُرُوجَ هُمْ what فُرُوجَ هُمْ is? Explain to me. So فُرُوجَ هُمْ, it doesn't say vagina, it says, it says it in a way that it's, it's making, it's making a parda, you know, it's making a hijab, you get it? Really? <laughs> hey, hold on, 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 hold on. Okay, all right. Let, let me, let me, let me ask you: Who is the one who teach you Arabic? So, if a woman, if she women, she wear hijab. Still, this is this is how she how she guard her vagina. So, if she have sex with the with the neighbor behind the hijab, it's okay. Listen, you you got you got you, you're making claims that doesn't make any sense at all you know right. you're just trying to make claims or claim you're trying to deceive okay people uh, okay what about okay let us go let us go with this did your prophet says that your penis will be strong <laughs> Yo, first first you got to fix your own beliefs you are you see you are you are you are scared you are scared here we go this is the hate in the front of me this is your this is your this is your prophet saying this is your prophet saying that you will have a penis you will have you will have a penis will never go sleep does it say that or not does it say that or not why your prophet he says that you have a penis will never go sleep sunan ibn, sunan ibn majah hadith number 4337 yes or no you, you you are changing topic right what about abu what 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 about what about what about abu what about umar what about umar hold on what about umar did your prophet did your prophet say shut up did your prophet say the one who is proud about his heritage he said go and say to him bite shut up you talk too much coward you don't let me talk because you're afraid you, you, are, you, you will not let me talk because you are afraid you are afraid you are afraid for your arms never why you don't want to talk you gotta be really careful that <laughs> see guys he opened a topic you don't want to talk about it you're just going with translations you know that there's a person he's, he's no you translate for me here we go this is the arabic you translate for me shut up this is the arabic you translate for me the translation is your translation and the arabic is in the front of you abdul abdul you be, you, you believe in the devil scream scream this is what the devil do when he hear the truth the devil inside you is screaming why you will not let me talk how we can have a conversation you're creating more fit then see guys you're creating more keep going keep going we are laughing more, more enemies you're creating more enemies for your own self you're creating don't worry enemies, okay? make a threat to me no problem make a threat make a threat to me what you want to do you will kill me you want to kill me? are you are you threatening me to kill me are you going to kill me are you going to kill me you are half half coward this is your prophet talking and not only that look what your companion and your, your prophet he said the one who is proud about his inheritance say to him I do who be him me go and tell him bite the penis of your father coward a recording machine he will not let me talk because he's created to hear the truth fix your language what kind of a prophet he said to a person the one to his followers the one who is a proud about in heritage before islam say to him go and bite the penis of your father what about i show you he says go and suck the clitoris of your mother is that better and you are talking about fixing your language what about omar he says go and suck the clitoris of allah I will call you back just for fun so we can laugh. So are you going to listen or you will scream like a devil? Are you going to talk to me one for one or you will speak non-stop like a woman in the delivery room? 
Khabis. What's up? Khabis, Khabis is your prophet. Are you going to talk to me or you are going to just uh, go crazy? Like because the devil inside you can, cannot stop. Hmm. Okay, let me ask you then. Let me ask you. I don't you mean you mentioned this. How come your prophet? How come your prophet? Okay, hold on, hold on. He will, he, will, he will not let me talk. He will not let me talk. <laughs> Abdul, okay, as long as you recite this verse, Shaitan will run away. And uh, this is about black magic. How come your prophet was under black magic then? Look, for Allah to send a malaika, right? From, for Allah to send malaika as as a nabi, as a messenger to the to the face of this earth right this is not a question this is not the question you mentioned to me you mentioned to me a verse you mentioned to me a verse against the black magic why your prophet himself did not protect his ass from the black magic your prophet even he imagined himself having sex but in fact he did not huh? oh people listen i'm sending you messengers within you within you i'll send a messenger this is not a question why your prophet was under black magic why you are answering they will bleed they will sleep they will eat, but their whole their hearts will never sleep. Even you, you look, you look at your belief first. You're a Christian, right? Why you answer? Why you're a prophet, not a protected by Allah? What's wrong with you? Listen, listen, listen. What's wrong with you? What? What? what why you are terrified to answer? <laughs> peace be upon him was never killed. Jesus, peace be upon him was never killed. No one ever killed him. Allah took him straight to the heaven. Your belief. Is wrong. You first, you should you should fix your beliefs. Okay, are you done? You are you done? In Allah, are you done? In, in Jesus is 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 alive. Okay, okay. So are you done? Jesus, are, are you done, Abdul? Uh, uh, I'm, okay. I'm talk. Keep talking, okay, man. I can't let me talk. You are keep talking. I can't talk. I mean, what the point of this? You want to talk to yourself? No. Okay, let me talk. Let me answer you. Can I please? Can I please? Can I please answer you? Can I please answer you? Can I please answer you? You said my God did not was not killed. Hadith and the sayings of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to the people. First, you gotta believe in it. If you don't believe in that, you should never ex explain anything to people. If you don't believe in anything anywhere in the world, till nowadays, you know, till now a day, till hmm. this time, never a priest, never a God of the road. Quran is wrong. Quran is fake. And then Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is fake. Even the Jews. The Christians, if you ask ask them, they know who Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is. Can I answer? Know who Muhammad is? You can, know this, right? Can I answer? Yes. Yeah, answer. Okay. Please. Isn't it your prophet who said you are accusing your prophet to be a liar? Isn't it your prophet? He said, if ten Jews only believe in me, the whole Jews will believe. So why you are lying? Number two, you said that Jesus he was not killed. That's mean Jesus is God, and you're a prophet. He was killed by poison. Let me show you the hadith. You're a prophet, he said that I I, I died by this. By, don't talk. Hold on, hold on. Let me talk. Let me answer you. Here we go. He go crazy. He go crazy. You're a prophet. He died like a rat by poison. So how come Allah protected Jesus, but He cannot protect Muhammad? Explain to us the the hadith in the front of you, the, the hadith in the front of you, and you are the one who said Jesus never been killed, but Muhammad was killed like a rat by poison. So how come Allah protect Jesus, but He don't protect Muhammad? He died his own death, and Jesus peace be upon him. He is in the heavens. You, you guys believe that Jesus. Okay, so are you saying that? Uh, are you saying that your Muhammad is lying? Are, are you accusing your prophet to be a liar? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said Muhammad did not that was not killed. So Muhammad did lie. Here we go. Hate in front of you. It's in the screen. Read it. What is it? The hadith in the front of you in the screen. It says Muhammad saying, "I am dying by the poison I ate at Khaybar." Muhammad he said, "Listen." Muhammad he said I died by the poison I ate in Khaybar. Are you accusing Muhammad to be a liar? I'm not accusing. It's, so it's so why you are lying? Why you are saying that Muhammad died normally? Why hadith, you listen, mm. if you know the science of hadith, hadith could be sometimes it could be a zaif, it could be a sahih. Okay, be, is this hadith a sahih or or or, or not? Is is this okay? This is hadith, it could be you know if this hadith if it is <coughs> If, if, if this hadith has a net, uh, okay, this is this is a hadith. 
this is this hadith from you. Okay, this is a this is a hadith from a okay. Chain is not going back to Aisha Radlano. I will not never take anything from you. And first of all, I'll never take anything from you because you're a kafir. First, you don't believe in anything. You you have to first believe in. Okay, so now so now this hadith is daif. From when I should give you the hadith? Should I look for it? And are you saying to me you believe only Al Bukhari? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, crazy boy. Hold on. Hey, 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 hey. The devil, the devil inside you cannot stop talking. He's horrified. Abdul, don't stop, 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 you donkey. Stop, stop. You know, he's afraid if I talk, it's going to be horrible. You kafirs will die from only from his breath. <laughs> Think about this. Are you done? Have, are, are you done? Are such, did you finish your fault? Against more about Muhammad, did, did you finish? Against did you finish your gas? Did you finish your gas? I believe much stronger. Did you finish your gas? More Kamil. Did you finish your gas? Stronger mu'min, more more believer in Allah <laughs> and Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So you have to believe that whatever you're saying. Doesn't make any sense to anyone. Okay, so, brother, brother, I, I decide to take shahada. I want to get the vagina. I want to, uh, brother, brother, I decide to get 72 vagina. I believe you now. Allah is the only true God because He is the only God can provide endless penises and vagina. Now, answer the question. The hadith in front of me is it weak that Muhammad he died by poison? You spoke for 15 minutes to avoid what you said. You said Jesus was saved, He was not killed. You gotta, you gotta first come, with, come up with this. That whatever you are saying first, you have to believe in it. So you believe in Bible, you believe in Christianity, right? That's your belief. So for, first, what you gotta do is you gotta bring your Bible first to the people to say to the people, "Oh, people, this is Bible, and I believe in Jesus. Jesus is God." So you have to first prove to people that Jesus is God. Uh, no you problem, know? no problem, my friend. Don't worry about proving to people. The, the, the one is listening to me already believe in that, so I do not need to do that. Now I'm asking you. Why you are avoiding speaking about your prophet dying like a rat? What's what's the problem? What's the pro what's the problem? Why you are afraid? Why you don't worry the hadith in the front of you? Why are you say keep saying that I'm afraid? I'm so read afraid. it then. Then read it. Read it. Go ahead. Read it. It's in front of you. Okay. The Prophet sallallahu uh, alaihi in his in his lifetime in which he died, he used to say, "Oh Aisha, <laughs> I feel the pain caused by by food I ate at Khaybar." At the time, at this time, I feel that if my awarda is being cut off from that poison, mm. he said that I feel. He didn't say that I'm. He said what? I feel as if I, my awarda is being cut from that poison. Mm. He said what? I feel. Mm. He doesn't say that I died from that. Mm. But this is when he died. He's what he was saying that, but he was dying. As you see, he was dying. He dying by the poison. So what? What? What it's mean to say? I feel. He, he. He. Okay. 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 Let us. Let us. Let us reason together. You, you are a smart boy. You are the smartest between all your twenty brothers. If a person he is dying and he says that the poison I ate at Khaybar is cutting my orta and then he die. Does that mean he die from the poison or he don't from the, die from the cheese? He prayed. He prayed for his ummah. He said. He said they keep pray salah, pray salah, pray salah, pray to Allah, pray to Allah, pray to Allah, and keep under your right hand, keep you know, keep keep everything under your right. Bring that hadith on. Show 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 the, show. What does have to do the, with my question? What, what, what he died. What, 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 what he, when he died, he, we know what, when when Muhammad he died, he died. He what? What is the last thing Muhammad he did when he died? Can you tell me? You you are saying yesterday. I'm asking you what Muhammad. What is the last thing? What is the last thing Muhammad he did? What the last thing Muhammad he did before he died? The last thing he, he, he did was he said, I want to go back to Allah. I want to go back to my Lord. Are you sure? Are that you was, sure? That's what, that's what he said. Okay. So what what if saying, I show you that the last thing he did, it was he pissed. Okay. First, bring bring, bring the hadith where he said that keep, keep, um, <coughs> praise Allah, praise Allah, praise Allah. And then bring that hadith. You know, we'll see whatever, whatever you're saying. Is it? Is it true or is it lie? Did your you know? prophet uh, Abdul Abdul give, give me the hadith you show you 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 are talking about show give it give it to me in text give it to me in the, as a link I will open it go ahead. Okay, so I will send you a link. All right. Because <coughs> the thing is, most of the time, try try to open the truth. Don't just say things out of out, out of no reason. You have if, if, to you to have to prove that Quran and hadith is 
you know, it's a lie and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu is a lie, you know, you got to prove it. It's not just, you know, picking an, a verse over here and verse there and try to say to people it's a lie. No, you got to first go because from the 1400 years, no one ever got up like this, like, you know, the way you did, you're saying Quran is wrong, you're saying Muhammad is fake, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know? No one? No one so, the, like so are you saying the Quran is a lie? Because the Quran is saying the Arab, they say to him, you're a liar. <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. It, you know, it's it's so ar ironic that till nowadays that, you know, you're it's making my belief more strong in Islam, you know? What, but what, 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 why you are lying? Why you are lying? Why you are saying the Christians and the Jews and everybody, nobody said to him, you are a liar. When, when the Quran, all of it, full of verses saying that the Christians and the Jews and non-believers, non they say to him, you are a liar. Why you are saying that? Uh, sorry, say that I, I'm looking for something. Just wait a minute, okay? Hmm. So it's in Al Bukhari, hmm. uh, four four <coughs> six three. Give me the link. Give me the link. Give, give me the link. Give me the link. Oh, just wait a minute. What happened? Just wait a minute. I have two phones. Just wait a minute. I have two phones. I'm sending it to the phone. Just wait a minute. Hmm. <clears throat> and what does hadith is saying tell us it's okay i believe you what what does hadith is saying repeat for us Just wait a minute. I'll call you back in a minute, okay? Just okay. Minute. All right. No problem. <clears throat> you need to find it. You need to find it. <laughs> Do you notice how they get scared and terrified? And he want to talk and talk and talk because he's afraid what I'm going to say. He, I have to, I, I have to keep talking. Otherwise, 
people will notice that I am a person who know nothing otherwise he will say something I cannot answer so we showed him that he's a prophet he died by poison he says where he said I died by poison it's in the front of you <clears throat> what do you want more than this it is literally in the front of you Let us see if he will call back. And supposedly the, the hadith he will quote for us is going to save Islam now. <clears throat> Do you think he will call back? <clears throat> anyway all right we are waiting for you my friend but please next to uh, next uh, next time you you call try to take a break when you talk <laughs> you made everybody everybody laugh you are terrified my friend you are terrified literally terrified I don't know even why, why he needed that hadith. I mean, this what hadith would do. <laughs> Muhammad, he said, they pray and pray and pray. <laughs> Muhammad, he said, pray for me. And call me, call me. Don't worry, it's okay. It's okay. We are not going to spend the whole day waiting for you to find the hadith. Can't you call? What are we going to spend the whole day, the next year waiting for the hadith? And by the way, you notice that. Maybe some of you do not believe in the devil, but did you notice how he's he's going crazy talking so fast? That is the devil inside this person. He is terrified. He is going crazy. He do not know what to say. Muhammad he said, when you say the Allahu Akbar or the, 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 the prayer, Shaitan he start farting. The fact it is all his followers who go crazy and they start farting, but from their mouth. They don't want you to talk. They don't want even to let you anyone hear you. He, he, he think by speaking over me, that's it. He is going to mute me and that's it. He is going to, to stop Christian press. That is the devil, my friend. And as you see, people are leaving Islam left and right. Now, why this hadith he is looking for is so important. What this hadith will do is going to fix that Muhammad, he said your penis will be endless. Is that will fix that Muhammad, he died by poison? And you said that Jesus, he did not die, and Allah, he saved them? <laughs> you know, the funny, he said, the prophet did not say he died by poison. Where he says that? It says that in the front of you. Muhammad, he said, he used to say, used to say. That's mean he is suffering from long, long time. And he himself, he knew, unless you are saying your prophet is not a prophet of God, and now he is getting wrong news. 
when a man he came to Muhammad and Muhammad says to him drink honey and the guy came back and he said to him my brother he drank honey but now he is getting more sick Muhammad he said to him I told you drink honey all right <clears throat> Guys, look at this. Look at this. This guy, he spent all this time to find me this. If I show you, you will show you, you will die laughing. The last words which the Messenger of Allah says uh, spoke where? Prayer, 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 fear Allah. Call me back, call me back so we can love. Call me back. Call me back. <coughs> okay, let me ask you. Yes, uh, Mr. When, when Muhammad, when Muhammad he died, when Muhammad he died, who was with him in the room? Aisha Radhanha. Aisha. So Ali Abi Ali Ali was was there or Aisha? How Ali he got the news? They came later on when they when they heard that Rasulullah has been he's passing away from this world. Okay. So how he heard this? How he heard this? Hmm. I was not there. Where where right. I'm I'm telling you from Okay, what if I show you what if I show you that his wife she said that the last thing he said it was he went to piss you, you what, you're, look, listen first you, you gotta quote everything in a way okay here we go the, i caught everything the, in a way the one who caught that the, is aisha the hadith you're, in front of you the hadith the hadith in front of you hold on ali cannot be with muhammad in his room the last one who was with him in the room and all muslims agree it was aisha and he died in her chest not her chest, her lap. And it doesn't matter. She is his wife anyway. Nothing wrong with that. So okay. the last thing that he also did was he used Ms. Siwak. Ms. Siwak. Okay, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Read, read with me. Read with me. This is Aisha. Are you accusing Aisha to be a liar? Are you accusing Aisha to be a liar? Death of Rasulullah She gave him support with her chest, or she said with her lap. He asked for a container to urinate and he re urinated there and there after he passed away mm. so that that hadith i will not take it as a sahih hadith mm. why because in the, in the in the chain of narration first you have to prove where where does this narration go first from aisha the, from aisha <laughs> aisha you look at it it's it's not not even spelled right okay by who is better who is better this is translation abdu what's wrong with you <laughs> The Arabic. Look at the, the, look at the name of Aisha first. My friend, who cares? This is a translation. Here we go. This is the name of Aisha in Arabic. Do you have a problem with English? This translation. Who cares? This is the original in front of you. <laughs> oh my God! First, you told told people what that uh, we we are scared from you. We're, listen. We read that you are you are you are you are being funny. You are saying to me, look how Aisha is spelled. <laughs> are you telling me now that because the English translator he did not spell the name Aisha wrong, wrong he spelled it wrong. And by the way, this is not Aisha. You are the one who do not know. You are the one who do not know how to read. <laughs> First, you were telling people that we are we Muslims are afraid of you, right? Yes, so, you are afraid. Here we go. The hadith in the front of you in Arabic. You speak Arabic. Read it. Here we go. Correct. Listen, correct. Okay. You are saying to me. You are saying to me that your Muslim brother is a donkey. You are making. You are making. You are making fun. You are making fun of a Muslim website of their translation that they did not spell the name of Aisha correctly. What this have to do with the hadith? Most what this have, have to do with the hadith? The hadith in the front of you. The hadith in the front of you. Like is like, like, like your prophet. Listen, 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 Abdul. Listen. Let me tell you something. Let me say something. Each time you insult me, honest to God, I will, I will spit at your prophet. Respect yourself. Each time you insult me, I will insult your prophet back. So learn how to behave. You are bringing insult to your prophet. Behave, you donkey. I'm warning you. Listen, listen, if you don't want your, if you don't want your prophet to be insulted, don't insult me. I'm warning you. Now I'm let us. You. Listen. You, you are the one called me Habith. You, the second time you call me Habith, I will say Muhammad is a liar, filthy, don't care, pimp. I warn you. Don't say that again. Okay, listen to me first. Now, okay, is the hadith in the front of you is correct? Yes or no? Can you read in Arabic? You, 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 
you want to start or no? You want to first say whatever I want to say or no? So, so as you see, the hate is correct. Second secondly, part, secondly, Muslim, the, the hadith you gave me. Muslims are afraid of you, right? For sure, you are afraid of me. Uh, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Okay, let me ask you. Do you accept Sunan Ibn Dawood? The hadith you gave me is from Sunan Ibn Dawood. Do you do you believe in the Sunan Ibn Dawood? Yes, I do. Okay, so if I show you something from Sunan Ibn Dawood, you will not regret. No, I will never regret anything. Really? Hmm. What about the hadith I show you that your prophet he was drinking poison and he died from poison? You regret it or you accept it? Listen, the hadith that you showed me is said. I feel like you know what feel means. So his his feeling he was wrong. You mean you mean he was wrong? I'm not saying he was wrong. So his feeling is right or no? Either you say his feeling was right or you you say his feeling is wrong. He said my, he said I felt like, but he didn't said I. My friend, I, this is another question. Do he feel he right? Feel is his do he feel right or he feel wrong? Please be be specific and give us the answer. Either you say I agree with him, he was dying because of poison, or he was feeling wrong. I didn't, you, you cannot say it like this. You gotta. No, you I have to say it. You are a hypocrite now. You are a hypocrite. You have to say hypocrite. because if your Listen, prophet did not die by poison, that's been what? Why he is saying I feel the pain caused? I. It says he used, used to say, used not only once, not second time, not third time. He used, he used and pain. and okay. then and then he died. He died. The last thing he said, I use, and then he says at this moment now. I feel as if my order is being I cut. Feel, okay. He didn't say that I was killed. Mm. Abdul, he was poisoned. Obviously, he was killed. He, he said, "I feel my as my order so, is show, being show cut me off." Where he said, "Show me a hadith <coughs> where he said I was killed by the poison." Abdul, when he say, "I feel my po the poison is cutting my order." What is cutting his order? Feel. What is cutting what 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 is cutting his orta? What is cutting the artery of Muhammad? Explain to me the hate in front of you. Be honest. What he <coughs> my friend, I don't care. Are you uh, I just want to ask you, do you agree? Do you agree? Okay, he said I feel is his feeling a lie or his feeling truth? This guy. You, you gotta first understand he's I understand. Give me the answer, my friend. Either you agree with him, either you agree with him, either you agree. Okay, so you are saying I don't agree. I don't agree with Muhammad. He did not buy poison. He my my prophet was a liar. I'm telling you that show me a had so show the show the people who are watching you right now, show them a hadith, a saying of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, where he said that the poison killed me. He died right away. I mean, he said that he will say that before. Are you are you crazy? You want him to say that after he die? <laughs> because to say the poison killed me, he have to say it after he die. Now you're now you're being in order in order to say the poison killed me, he have to say that after he die. Are you crazy or what? How he will say that after he die? The poison killed me. It's mean he he is going to say that after he die. So no way he will say killed me. He have to say it before he die. At that moment he won. He said that he was not dead yet. So how am I going to say the poison killed me? You, you are such a hypocrite, bro. You, you gotta be. You gotta be careful whatever you say. <laughs> you are the one who said that. You said show me what the prophet said. Uh, uh, the poison killed me. Everybody, everybody heard you saying. Everybody heard you saying. Show me what the prophet said. The poison killed me. In order to say that, he have to say it after he die. What's wrong with you? Have you ever heard so? Have you ever heard of somebody saying after he died, the poison killed me? What is so, so now we have to ask you some questions, right? No, so no, no. You did not answer yet. You did not answer. The question is why? Why Muhammad died poison? Why Muhammad? By your deceptions. Why Muhammad died by poison? And you said to me Jesus was not killed. Why Jesus is not killed, but Muhammad died by poison? Okay, let, let me explain it to you. Mm. So Jesus, as you believe that he was killed, right? Mm. That's what your belief is. Mm. Isn't that isn't that your belief? Mm. The Quran confirmed that too. No, isn't that your belief that Jesus was killed? Yeah, I believe, yeah. Okay. So we don't believe that Jesus was killed. Mm. Get it? Did the Jews kill the prophets? What? Did the Jews kill the prophets? Which prophets? I'm asking you, did the Jews kill any prophet? Of course, Jews they used to kill in one in once once in one in one of the in, there was one time where they killed two hundred prophets. Okay, can you can you name one for can you name for one for me? Can, can I name one for yes for you? Okay, mm. so 
is 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 it so now what you're trying to say is it worth it to to say the names of all those prophets from all the way from no name Adam, one like, i said name uh, no 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 i did not say name all no no i did not say name all i said name one no i'm just asking you first. i am asking you my friend can you name one it's funny that your god have time to tell us about Suleiman speaking to the ant or hearing the ant Suleiman is speaking to the bird flying carpet the ring of Suleiman, all fourteen story, but he don't have time to tell us about a name for me, name for me. One prophet was killed by the Jews. Can you please? So Jews Yahya alayhi salam. What where, where we can find in the Quran that Yahya was killed by the Jews? Zakaria it was a son of Zakaria, Yahya. Abdul Abdul, are you listening? Where we can find in the Quran, don't tell me in the Quran, your God forgot to mention that Yahya was killed. The Quran tells you that. That Allah sent messengers to all the, hmm. all, all, all the, you know, all the aquams, you know, all the aquams. This is not the question. This is not the question. But, 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 but I'm asking you, can you find me the verse in the Quran says that Yahya was killed or John the Baptist? Can you find me that? John the Baptist. Hmm. Can you find me that verse where it says that he was killed? So, um, listen, first, um, uh, if you, uh, 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 where we can find the story, what, 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 wait, 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 what, 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 where we can find, hold on, what, 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 where we can find the story of John the Baptist was being killed. You are the one who mentioned his name, you got yourself busted. I want to see it. Let's come back to Jesus. No, 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 we will not come back to Jesus. No, you get yourself busted. No, you see, you see, our change. Hold on, hold on. The Quran says, the Quran says that the Jews they killed the prophet. The Jews they killed the prophet. I said to you, name one for me. Shut up, let me talk. Name one, name one prophet for me. Your name for me, John the Baptist. How come your God Allah forget to name that he was killed? What kind of God he is? How, 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 how stupid it is to have a book. He forgot to mention one like John the Baptist that he was not killed. Why he forget about him? Explain to us where we can find the story of John the Baptist. And how, how you said that Jesus is God? How your Jesus is God? Don't change the topic. Why Allah? He did not. He never mentioned. Why your prophet never mentioned? Why you Muslim never mentioned? Why you forget about John the Baptist that he was killed? I ask you, who is the prophet was killed by the Jews? You said John the Baptist. Can you show me the story? What's your real name, though? You're, you're not a Christian prince. I know that for sure. For sure. Uh, Muhammad Rasulullah, my real name. Is that a problem with you? <laughs> <laughs> you see, he changed the. You see, you see how they do poo poo. You see how he changed the topic. He's afraid. He's doing poo poo. He is doing poo poo. By the way, what's your name? By the way, suddenly we are talking about John the Baptist. We are talking about John the Baptist. Suddenly he said, "What's your name?" By the way, what's your name? Your by the way, by the way, what's your name? I nice to meet you, brother. This is not John. Change the topic, but don't be in a don't be a coward. Where we can find the story of John the Baptist in all Islamic religion? No, do you know uh, Abdullah bin Ubay? I do not know Abdullah. Do you know him? Abdullah bin Ubay. Okay, he was a hypocrite like you. No problem. Uh, why he was a hypocrite? Because he did not go and attack the Roman to get the blondie like your prophet. He said to them, "Attack the Roman and get the blondie girls." Now, don't change the topic. Where we can find where we can find the story of John the Baptist was killed. Otherwise, you are admitting that your prophet and your God is a, is, a, is an idiot. You, you you say in the Quran that the, the Jews, they first, slew prophet, but you cannot name one for me? To go, go to those topics, first you got to fix your beliefs. Your belief is what? Don't worry about my belief. Don't worry about my belief. Don't worry. No, no, you know, I, I, I like your belief. Don't worry about my belief now, you see? How can I speak to them in a way that... Just get lost. Potato. You are just a kid. I am Allah. Allah cannot have a son because he doesn't have a girlfriend, and I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have a son. Both of us, we are Allah. Two more Allah, we can play cards. The Jews, these two prophets. Okay, name one for me. If Jesus was not killed, who is the prophet they killed, and why Jesus only was saved? If they slew, if they slew one thousand, how many? How many? How many prophets he said? Two hundred thousand prophet. One one deal. They, they slow one two hundred thousand prophet. <laughs> Why the prophet were they were eggs and a chicken was given eggs. Two hundred thousand prophet that the, the the Jews they slew them. <laughs> what a comedy! Oh boy. <laughs> Name for me 
one prophet was killed by the Jews, John the Baptist. But this is a story in the Bible, not in the Quran. Are you saying to me that your book, your Quran, is a, is a, is a false book? Where we can find in the Quran the story of John the Baptist being killed? It's not there. Okay, can you show it to me in the Hadith? Can you show it to me? You have nothing. Stupid religion. Your God have time to tell us that Suleiman he dies standing. Nice to meet you, Suleiman. Are you dead? Uh, Suleiman, you are not answering. Suleiman, move your eyes. Suleiman, why are you not answering? Have you ever heard of a prophet he stand still and he is dead? And then how his ministers and his wife they notice he is dead. Who remember? Guys, who remember? Let us see how many of you remember. <clears throat> who remember how they find out that he is dead? He was holding a stick in his hand, and then the termite eat his stick, and this is how he fell down. <laughs> I will never hold a stick made from wood. I will get it made from uh, uh, something never rust. You know, the termite eat his stick, and this is how they notice that he's dead. What the heck? Ministers, kings, he's a king. People coming out, people coming in. They talk to him, his wives, and and nobody knows he's dead. Standing? Are you sure, Muhammad? I mean, this is, must be a true story. They think by speaking fast, saying nothing, they can convince us they have a truth. The fact is the opposite. You are like a like like a drum, big from outside, empty from inside. That is Islam. All what we need is just a needle, and the drum is gone. Islam is nothing but a balloon full of gas and bad gas, not even good gas. The second we ask a simple question, gas come out. A Christian prince, the poor guy tried to talk. Can you talk, please? Like what? How in the world can we talk? What's happening here? Unbelievable. Quran is nothing but a stupid book. Tons of stories are useless. Why you don't focus about your book? Are you at your religion? Don't who, who told you I don't focus? I am bringing Muslims out of Islam and we are making them accept the Messiah. If you go and see how many Muslims left Islam in the last few months, you will not believe it. Not only they left Islam and they accepted Jesus as their Lord and their Savior. So don't worry, we are doing a great job and your devil is not working. Where, why you don't fix your language, you say the word penis. Your, your prophet said the one who is Proud about his inheritance go and tell him to suck the penis of his father What kind of a filthy prophet he say that? Or suck the clitoris of your mother what kind of a prophet he is Or suck the clitoris of a lat Vagina, penises. Muhammad, he says, I was the most weak person in between mankind. And then I invoke my God, Allah. And he sent me al-Kufayt, a dish of shish kebab. I ate it. I get the power of 40 men. <clears throat> Look at this guy, guys. Look at this guy. Now he's trying to search. And he found me. He found me a verse saying that Yahya was a person who gave wisdom. I'm asking you where the story of his death, you donkey. I know the Quran mentioned Yahya. 
And by the way, his name is not Yahya. Even the name is wrong. Where in the Quran is speaking about that Yahya was killed? And here we go. He just went to the Quran and searched for the word Yahya. Find me where in the Quran it says he was killed. <laughs> what kind of God? He mentioned a prophet, but he don't mention how he died. See? Here we go. All the verses you quote for me proving Islam to be stupid religion. When you start talking about a prophet and you don't mention, especially this prophet, he was killed. And this is a great prophet. Why you don't mention how he died? Muhammad, he have time to talk about prophet. We never heard of them. Look at this donkey now. Look at this donkey. He's mentioning to me what about uh, he, he jumped from Yahya to Jesus. <laughs> oh boy. Peace be upon me. Peace upon Jesus when he born. Peace upon him when he is resurrected. Peace upon him when he die. There's no verse in the Quran that says peace upon Muhammad when he was born. Peace upon him when he die, and peace be upon him when he is resurrected, for he is of the devil. Now I will wait for you for the coming 2,000 years to find me the story of Yahya being killed. How, Je how Jesus is God explained? That's very easy to explain, my friend. Jesus right now, according to your cult, is in heaven. He is the only one in heaven. From heaven to heaven, he go back. A human being, from dust to dust. Very simple. <laughs> A human being, from dust to dust. Jesus, from heaven to heaven. And now as we speak, even in your Islamic cult, in the yellow pages of the Quran, according to you Muslims, he is in heaven. Muhammad in the grave. The cockroaches just attacked last week. Oh, sorry, the cockroaches attacked Mecca. They did not, uh, did not go to Medina yet. They are in their way. How in the world I need to prove that Jesus is God? If you believe you that he is in heaven, if you believe that he is going to be coming down as a judge, absolute judge, how he can be absolute judge unless he is God? To be muqsit, muqsit is one of the names of Allah in Islam. Muhammad is not muqsit. Musa is not muqsit. Abraham not Muqsit, only Jesus. And he is Hakam and Muqsit, judge and just. And the only way for you to be judge and just in the same time, if you don't have the nature of a human being, you have the nature of God, because a human being cannot be perfect in judgment. Is that correct, guys? According to the Islamic cult, even Jesus is the one who will come and will destroy the devil. And even the devil, when he sees Jesus, he will melt like salt. Imagine, he will melt like salt in water. Why? Who is just Jesus who can melt the, the devil like salt? Why the devil did not melt when he see Muhammad? We prove it from your books. In your books, the Messiah is the Word of God and He is the Spirit of God, not a Spirit from God. In your book, Jesus is Holy, chapter 19, verse 19. Let's see what He's saying. When He come, He will kill. When God will come, my friend, he will say to his angels, bring them in front of me. All those hypocrites, liars, donkeys, filthy, bring them. 
and he will judge you yes he, he will he you know why not God he give life he take life isn't it God who did the flood of Noah what what the flood of Noah so simply mean God killed what the name of the devil Harith the name of your prophet let me show you one of the lies Muhammad he came with according according to Muhammad Eve cannot have babies each time she try or to, to she get the breath net she lose her baby and then the devil he came to her and he said to her let me try to find the hadith he said to her if you want your son to live call him the slave of shaitan abdul harith you believe it this is a story Muhammad you mentioned <laughs> which mean all of you are the children's of Abdul Harith the slave of shaitan here we go Do you see it? The Prophet of Allah said, When Hawa become a Britnet, Iblis come to her. Iblis, the first shaitan, the biggest shaitan, the, the king of Satan's, came to her, and her children would not live after birth. So he said, Name him Abdul Harith. So she named him Abdul Harith, and he lived. What the heck? What a stupid prophet. So Allah cannot protect Eve children from Shaitan if she name him anything except the name of Shaitan, the slave of Shaitan. He will not live. He will not live. You believe it? This is a prophet who promote that he is a believer in one God saying to us that Eve she is the first woman she called her son the slave of shaitan Abd in Arabic means slave or, or, or a slave yeah usually it's a black slave Al Harith is one of the names of shaitan <clears throat> it's what happened when you have Garbage teacher, look what happened when Shaitan he made Jesus. Let me show you the reference so the Muslim will not say I'm making things up. Let us make the text bigger. Here you will see Muhammad, he was speaking about the Shaitan. <clears throat> You see the Muslims in the translation, actually. Look. وَإِذَا صَاحَ فِيهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ وَإِنَّ الْمَسِيحَ قَدْ خَلَفَكُمْ فِي أَهْلِيكُمْ And when the shaitan, the Satan, he scream, says he that the Messiah, he is the inheritance of you. And they are going to come and they will say, this is, this is not true, we will not believe. And then when Shaitan he see the Messiah, he will dissolve, he dissolve like salt. When the enemy of Allah, the Shaitan, he see Jesus, he will dissolve like salt, as salt dissolve in water. Do you see it? That is Jesus, my friend, in your cult. And you don't want me to worship him in your cult the shaitan when he see jesus he dissolve like salt who want to follow muhammad 
according to Muhammad shaitan was coming to him and during his prayer was jumping over his his shoulders even shaitan he command him to do good my Jesus when shaitan he see him he dissolve like salt <laughs> that is my Jesus who is your prophet the child molester hmm who is your who is your prophet? That doesn't mean he is God. Well, you tell me what does that mean? Why Allah cannot destroy the shaitan? Why Jesus will destroy him? Why Allah cannot do what what Jesus can do? Jesus, he made the blind see. Jesus, he is ripped from them death. He just he's, he he can make things nobody can do. Allah can do nothing. Allah is just a name. Muhammad, he never spoke to him. He never saw him. He never hit. He never heard his voice. Allah is a fiction God. Does not exist. It is the moon God who has exist before the Arab exist. This is why the, none of the Muslims knows what the word Allah means. It's a foreign word. Coming from the Aramaic language. Do we have any Muslim want to say something? <clears throat> that does not mean he's God. Well, Jesus is the creator. That, that doesn't mean God, the creator. Guys, Jesus is the creator. Jesus is alive for a thousand of years. Jesus, uh, he can heal, he can forgive sin. You know, he forgives sin. The Jews, they said to him, well, which authority you have to forgive sin? What this guy is talking about? <coughs> yes, Abdul. Go ahead, Abdul. What do you want to say? So, you you are trying to say that, uh, that you want to speak to Zakir Naik, uh, Muhammad Hijab, and all them, right? Who are they? Those names? They don't even know how to. Uh, your as the example, Mimi Hijab. He said, "Allah, he pray for. He don't pray to." Do you agree with him? Listen to me. Uh, you are listening. I'm listening. First, why well, you are mentioning okay. his name? You, you, he said. He said. He said, he said. He said. Allah pray for not to. Do you agree with him? What are you saying? Mimi Hijab. He said, "Allah, he pray for not to." Do you agree with him? I don't know. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what he, what are you saying right You now? have a debate. What do you mean? You are the one is talking to me. You said Muhammad uh, Mimi Hijab. You are the one. Zakir Naik. Zakir so Naik. Zakir Naik. Zakir no, Naik. Uh, hold on. Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik. He said. Zakir Naik. He said that the word "hur" is not for women. It is all word mean version for men and women. Do you agree with that? Is it a word "hur" in heaven? Oh Allah, is it a word mean male and female? Hur. Yes. It, it means that male and female. Yep. Uh, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. 100%. Okay, if I show you that you both of you you do not know what Islam is about and you are a false Muslim, what you would do? Okay, no, listen to me first. You're not a Muslim, right? Doesn't matter, so my friend. I I am your master, my friend. Here we go. The Quran in front you're of me. You're not my master. You're just a Habib. Okay, okay, okay. here you're we go. You, did you say Habib? Your prophet is a scumbag. He is a filthy. He's a child molester. He's a donkey. He's a poo poo. I told you, don't yeah. say that word again. You listen first. Cause the thing is, you're cursing my prophet live on to the people okay no problem here we go let me show okay. you that you are let me show you that you are a donkey in chapter 55 verse number 56 it says yet muthahun how those are male but they are going to be having sex and they will lose virginity and bleed okay do male have thumbs mute mute youtube mute youtube listen to me only from skype so who is the donkey here? You and your Zakir Naik, both of you are donkey. It and says, donkey. If okay, you really, if so you how you, how you say, Naik, how you say you that, to, how you agree, some, how you, you agree, you donkey, how you agree, you how you agree, you donkey, you how you agree, how you agree that, that the word whore, male and me, female, answer, answer, I got you, I just got you busted in two seconds. How you say that the word whore, male, Male and, and an answer, answer. I want an answer. I want an answer. 
then you okay, you can bust me, but you cannot bust because you're you're a cop. You're a cop. <laughs> you're a liar. You're a hypocrite. <laughs> so you have no answer now, right? So you have no answer. So now you stumble. There's no answer. How Allah He says that they they will lose the virginity of their vagina, your donkey, and you say that they are male and female. Answer, answer, answer. Child molester, prophet. Child molester, prophet. I know what Khabith. Khabith is Allah, the one who deceived you. He said, "I am Allah." He said, "I am the best of the deceivers." Did Allah say, "I am the best of the deceiver?" Shut up, donkey. Donkey coward, you see, you call me, you could not maintain yourself for two seconds. I, you mentioned to me, Zach and Nike. I said, Zach and Nike, he says the whore is male and female. You said, I agree with him. The second I show you the verses of the Quran, you start changing topic, calling me names. Coward like you're a prophet, child molester. Go and get Aisha in your lap. How in the world he says, Yatmuthahunna, and they are male and female, you donkey. Male have vagina. The word thumbs is when a woman she lose the skin inside her vagina, as simple as that. This is what he meant. Those women they don't have period. This is heaven. In heaven, there's no period. Stupid donkey, you and Zachary Naik. You don't you cannot even Zach and Naik. If I take him in two five minutes, I, I'm going to make him shish kebab. I'm going to make him dust. The same when Jesus he's he make the shaitan you know dissolve like salt by the power of my lord. And this is what I do with you. Now, if you have an answer, call me your donkey. You said you agree that this is male and female. If you want to call to call me names, no problem. Stupid donkeys. Mimi hijab, he says, Allah, he pray for, not to. And now we have Allah, he pray to Allah. This is hijab. Mimi hijab, he said, the 4,000 years. For 4,000 years, the Jewish instructed to worship God alone. Not a single Jew. 4,000 years. And then we find in the Quran, the Quran saying that the Jews, they worship a person. His name is Uzair as the son of Allah. So for 4,000 years, they did not. Yes, Abdul. Worship. No, not a single Jew. Mute, mute right. YouTube. Mute YouTube. YouTube. Man, you're, you're such a dog, man. Don't, you're just okay. Did you say to me, dog? Is it is it is it the last Muhammad is Kilab? Last name of Muhammad. <laughs> what is it? I'm, I'm asking you. Be, be honest. Is the is the last name of Muhammad? Is the last name of Muhammad? Muhammad ibn Kilab. Yes or no? You're a dog, man. Why you are calling me dog if your last name, your prophet last name is dog, and he married from Zainab bin Tujah, Zainab, the daughter of the donkey. Yes or no? You're a bastard. You know, do you know that you're a bastard? The bastard is you're your prophet. He your was born. Sex. You're a prophet. You're a prophet. Your prophet was born. Shut up, donkey. You are calling just to call names. Your prophet was born four years after his father. So he is a bastard guaranteed, and I can show you the reference. There's no way a person he's born four years after his father is not a bastard. Shut up, son of Muta. I will not be surprised if you yourself, your mother, she did Muta too, you know, in, in the bar and she gave birth to you in the elevator. Call names as much as you wish. You cannot answer me, you cannot refute me. Anything you say to me, I will show you a reference, will destroy you. You say dog, your the prophet last name is dogs. You believe it? You say donkey, you're a prophet. He married from Zainab ibn Tujahsh. Zainab, the daughter of the donkey. You say, bastard, you're a prophet. He was born four years after his father's death. What do you want to say? Tell me more. You want to say, gay, you're a prophet. He used to do eyeliner. He pissed like a woman. He kissed down the belly of men. And not only that, he said in the hadith, Wa imma ibn ammi faqad hataka ardi. And about my cousin, he did rape me. Do you want more? And not only that, in the heaven of Allah, you're a prophet, he said, that in the heaven of Allah, there's a market, no buying nor selling, except a picture of men and women. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> 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 
Praise be to Allah, brother. Allah will provide us with images of men to have sex with them, brother. Men, they will have sex with men in heaven, brother. I mean, how fantastic that heaven, brother. <laughs> this is God. This is heaven. I swear by Allah. Muhammad is talking. Indeed, in paradise, there is a market in which there is no buying nor selling except for images of men and women. Images of men and women? Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay. So now we have a Playboy magazine market. Images of men and women. So whenever a man, who is the one when I get inside and have sex with them? A man. And the images are images of what? Women and men. Take a note, please. Please, please take a note. The images are for men and women. The customers are men. The gay prophet. Homosexuality in the heaven of Allah. Did I make this hadith up? I no, no, it's in the front of you. This is Sunnah that come. Sunnah that garbage. MashaAllah, Sunnah. This is Sunnah. This is all Sunnah, my friend. A lot of Sunnah here. Sunnah is Muhammad practice and Muhammad statement. This is what Muhammad he do and he say. Praise be praise be to Sunnah that come. <coughs> I'm really convinced that Muhammad is a prophet of God. That's it. If you say that in all, in, in San Francisco, half of San actually no, there's the gays in San Francisco is about ten percent. Ten percent? No, actually not ten percent. Three percent, I think. Three percent. Yeah, three percent of San Francisco will convert to Islam immediately. Please don't show that to those people in San Francisco. They will be lining up to say Shahada. Guys, there is a there is a story. Do you know the story? <clears throat> there is a there is a guy, uh, one of the companion of the Prophet uh, during the time of uh, uh, Uthman. He said, "I swear by Allah, if I know who is the one who killed Uthman, I'm going to bing bing beep. If you know, you know, he wouldn't do F to him." A gay, he heard him saying that. He put his hand up. He said, I am the one who killed Uthman. The companion of the prophet, he made him bend over and he started doing bing bing to him. Boom, boom. The gay underneath of him, he was saying, screaming, saying, I swear by Allah, if I know that this is the punishment for killing Uthman, I would love to kill Uthman every day. Is that a true story or a fiction story? The guy was doing him and he was swearing underneath of him. He says, I said, man, this is, I love it. I swear by Allah, if I know that this is the punishment for King Uthman, I would kill Uthman every day, every second, or forever. <laughs> oh boy, I'm sure many of you would like to convert to Islam immediately now. Hmm? Look, look, guys, look what he said to me. Look, the Abdul is getting crazy now. Look, may the curse of Allah and his angels believing uh, and the believing be upon you. Amin. Uh, Abdul, uh, the curse of Allah is obviously working very much with Israel. You Muslims curse in Israel every day mm -hmm. and America. Mm -hmm. and Russia mm -hmm. and Japan mm -hmm. and we see who is the one really is cursed did you notice who is cursed Israel is not Somalia my friend it's not Baghdad it's not Afghanistan 
even look at Imarat. Imarat is the land of prostitution. Look at Saudi Arabia, brother. Yes, Abdul. Why you are cursing me, Abdul? This is the best you can do. <laughs> so I'll, I'll try to. Um, so the people who are Christians are listening to you, right? So we yeah. gotta explain your Christianity a little, you know. Mm. So you gotta explain how Jesus, your God. You said from dust to dust, this to this, that to that, and He's a God. How's that a God? Mm. How how He is not a God if He's alive? You tell me. Why He's alive now? So I'll say so. I'll, uh, Let's bring something up. Okay. Mute, mute YouTube, mute YouTube, mute YouTube. Huh? Mute YouTube. I hear myself twice. You know, I feel like Jibril now. You feel like Jibril? I feel like Jibril because I hear myself twice. Why? But don't you know? Don't you know that your when your prophet he received the chapter of Al Fatiha? Do you know? Yes, I know. Yeah. How? How he received it? Do you know? How he received Jibril? How he received the chapter of Al Fatiha? Jibril. Peace be upon him. He came to him that, and at that time he heard a noise in the sky. Okay. Oh, uh, but he came with him only when he was doing poopo, -poo, right? What are you talking about? He would go. Be, he would go. You, 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 listen, first to believe in something, right? You gotta first follow it, right? No, no, no I don't have to. No, I don't believe in something. To I, I don't believe in it. Do I believe in it? <laughs> are you crazy? I don't believe in this garbage. So this is what your book saying. Yeah. I have nothing. I have nothing to do. I have, not, garbage I movie, have right? nothing to do with Listen, uh, if you don't believe it. in this garbage, right? Mm. So why why are you keep bringing it up in front of people? Then? Why not to get Muhammad busted? I like to get him busted. He is a false prophet. What's you're jealous. That's what it means. You're, Je you know, I'm a jealous. No, no. I told you from the beginning. I'm I want to save you. I feel like you are leaving Islam already. Explain to me why here it says I'm that not, each I'm time. Okay, for, okay. For then, for re then, read, then read. Then read. Then read for me. Why it says? Why it says? Hold on. Why no stop screaming? Stop screaming. Why whenever whenever he go to the bathroom, he hear a voice? Why 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 it happened to him only when he do poo poo? What are you talking about? It's in front of you. It says that whenever Muhammad he wanna do buraz, Rasul You speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. And this is the, the this is the translation done by you, and this is the book of Asbab al Nizul. Which, which part, of, uh, from? Which huh? part of Arabia? What? Which part of Arabia are you from? You're from Iraq. I'm a black, uh, a blonde, African American from Japan. Don't change the topic. Answer: What kind of a prophet he received his inspiration doing shit? You're blonde, blonde African American. Okay. Blonde, yeah, from okay. Japan. Now, what kind of a prophet he received <laughs> the inspiration of Allah doing shit? Explain to us. Allah doing shit. Where no, I'm not saying that? he is doing shit. Muhammad doing shit. Allah, he sent his angel to talk to Muhammad specifically when he do shit. Explain to me why. He can't wait. The poor guy, let him finish shit yet. I Listen, mean, what? First, you got you got to be respectful first. Whatever I don't respect. That's what it says. Respect what? That's what it says in the front of me. Not of, not, not of, Why are you blaming me for reading what you say? It says, no, 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 read, read the whole thing. Read the whole thing. Don't, Each don't time your prophet, you do shit. Thing. Read it. It's in front of you. Here we go. Who's holding you? Who said that the messenger of Allah gave him peace whenever he went out? He went out. You used to hear some calling, someone calling him, Oh Muhammad. And whenever he heard this, he used to he used to flee this way. He used to flee. <laughs> why he used to flee? Wait, wait, wait. Why, why are you changing it? Why, why, why are you turning it away? No, I'm not turning it away. Here we go. Read, read. And we are loving. Did, did, did you, I, I love when you said he used to flee. A, a, a prophet, he fleed during the poo, poo time, running away from the angel. Why? He never heard the angel before? Just wait. Just wait. Hmm. Where, are you, where are you getting this hadith from first? Go, go back to the right, hadith. I'm getting it from my closet. Okay, you're getting from, listen, first. To follow hadith, right? Mm. So for me to follow hadith, I don't follow online hadiths, okay? Ah, but you gave me online hadith just 15 minutes ago. I didn't give online hadith. That's ah, not online. That was not online. The website you gave me not online. It's, it's, it's not a website. Ah, uh -huh. no, you gave me. Oh, you gave me. You gave me from online. Go back to the outside. Huh? Uh, go back. To the, you said I, I, I took it from online. Go, go, go back to the online thing. Didn't you search it in Google? Don't be a liar. Did you search it in Google? Yes or no? 
no, no way, bro. So how we you have, how you made a text in in computer if it's not from Google? How you make a text? I, you type it all? Oh, why, why why did I took a long you, time to send it to you? Let's get lost. I have no time for liars. How you make it from the book into into Skype? No, no, don't call me. Don't call me. Let, just just go. Go. I have no time for kids. Let your dad call me. A prophet, he run away each time. I don't take online hadith. <laughs> Does it make a difference if it's online or not? This is your website. This is the official government website of the King of Jordan, who is supposedly from the children of the child molester prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. This is an official government website of the King of Jordan himself. You don't believe me? Let me show you. Uh, where it says about. About, about, about the website. Here we go. Guys, do you see what it says there? Do you see? About Tafsir, unique feature about its institute. Okay, let us see about the institute. Okay. What institute is that? Here we go. Amman Jordan. Okay, what is that? The Royal of Ahlul Bayt Institute. The royal family huh, of Jordan who claimed to be from Muhammad. This is why they called him Ahlul Bayt. For Islamic, thought is an international charitable trust based on Jordan. Uh, comprising uh, 70 to 100 members from the world Islamic scholars who met, uh, correspond, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and then he says, dated in by the late uh, uh, King Hussein of Jordan as service for the Islamic world and Ummah. This is now an online website? Yes, it is. And this is explained why the king of Jordan is the dog of America. Because he is the child of the prophet Muhammad. Very corrupt family. The son is like his father. A CIA agent, the king of Jordan. Any Abdul? Anyway, guys, we aren't going to stay long. The video, the video here, please download it. Um, as you see, I'm taking my video down just to force people to download it and share it all over. So this video will not stay long there. After we finish, wait maybe for 15, 20 minutes, the whole video will be there and you can download it and take it, put it anywhere you want, especially the debate with this guy. This is this is a horrible debate. <laughs> <laughs> this guy he destroyed his prophet left and right and they think they think they are victorious you're right a prophet will receive inspiration from Allah during pupu time I like that prophet I want to have a prophet like this actually you know what each time I go to the bathroom I go in silence waiting for a voice to be heard and if I hear the voice, I think I'm going to flee like the prophet. I wish I have a camera at that time. Oh boy. 4K camera behind Muhammad when he is doing poo poo. Muhammad hear the voice. We record the voice. We see the prophet fleeing and the poo poo is coming down. And the angel saying to him, stop Muhammad. Oh, Muhammad. Why in the world this guy is going crazy? This is the first time he see the prophet, the, the angel. Why is he running away? Al-Fatiha is not the first verse Muhammad receives. So why is he running away? He should know that this is an angel. Why talk to him? I know that the angel is coming at the wrong time during the pupu time, but maybe this is the wish of Allah. He liked to send his uh, inspiration during the pupu time. It's a holy Quran during the holy... Uh, Makes sense. Oh, Muhammad. And the second Muhammad he here, he flee. 
and then Muhammad as usual he went to his father the real father of Muhammad Waraq ibn Nufal if you have my books you will see why I say Waraq ibn Nufal is the real father of Muhammad so he went to Waraq ibn Nufal as usual Waraq ibn Nufal advised him to remain in his place next time when the caller call him what the heck this guy he always a flea I feel sorry for the angel Jibreel each time the angel Jibreel when I speak to Muhammad said he said to him to oh Muhammad Muhammad you run away <laughs> Muhammad looked like a mr. Bean I wish mr. Bean will make a movie about Muhammad life story mr. Bean is going to the bathroom mr. Bean he sit in the toilet seat mr. Bean he took off his panty mr. Bean he said there and suddenly he hear oh Muhammad Mr. Bean, he lift his eyebrows and he look around. What the heck? Who is this? Mr. Bean never experienced such a miracle before. Mr. Bean now, he decided to flee. Mr. Bean, start running. Again, that again, Mr. Bean, that again, that again. <laughs> I mean, your prophet stories is not even a qualified to be bedtime stories for kids how in the world do you believe in this huh each time he hear it he flee unbelievable <clears throat> all right anyway guys i think we have enough for today did we have enough for today i'm supposed not to do any broadcast today because i want to work in translation of the quran but i hate you all i miss you what i can do i mean i miss you seriously and uh you see this guy he said i put the curse of allah on you last time the muslims there's a guy his name is a uh, muslim knight he opened a room in in chat room programs called pal talk and the chat room name the curse of Allah upon Christian Prince and I entered there you know just because it have my name but I did not you I did not use my nickname to enter you know I just choose a different nickname and I enter and the guy was saying may Allah destroy Christian Prince all the Muslims like 300 400 people saying I mean oh Allah kill him I mean oh Allah give him heart attack I mean oh Allah give him cancer I mean Oh Allah, make a train go over him, a car, Allah, a car accident, Allah. Oh, very evil people. Less than 24 hours after, the guy who opened that room, he have a heart attack. Less than 24 hours. The one who was praying for me to have a heart attack. And the Muslims were shocked. Because they were expecting Christian Prince in 24 hours, he would not be there. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my heart, guys. My heart. I feel something in my heart. Oh, this is not my heart. My uh, This is my pocket. Uh, because it's empty. You see what happened to you when you have a pocket? It's empty. It's not my heart. It's my pocket. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Uh, <clears throat> you know, this is where we are Arab. Where is our heart? You know, I mean, uh, we don't know actually. We are Arab. We are different because, especially like the Quran says, women, even uh, Arabian women specifically, uh, they have a breast testicles. This is why I'm an Arab. I did not get married. I will not marry specifically an Arabian woman from my people. What? What if you marry a woman and then you find that she have? Instead of having breasts, you have testicles. I mean, this is scary, scaring me. And people they keep asking me why you are not getting married. I mean, this is a very scary scenario. You know, I mean, that's not even fair. All women in the world they have a breast, except us Arab, our women they have a testicles. Why is that? Hmm? <clears throat> that's weird. This is a chapter. 86 verse number six and seven in the Quran Marry you well, we have somebody saying marry me. Do you, first. Okay, if I want to marry you you have to be qualified I am an Arab like Muhammad 
So you have to be very young between you have to be in the age of Khadija You have no teeth and you are rich So if I open my uh, my 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 broadcast you will not bite me or you will not beat me Okay, and if I scream loud you will not hear me All right This is the qualification. Are you rich? Are you old? Are you deaf? Are you mute and you have no teeth? Uh, by the way, I forgot you have no uh, nails too. If you have this qualification, we are good to go. All right, this guy is a joke. Are you talking about Muhammad, my friend? Hmm. Well, I want to be like Muhammad. Who look, look what what look what rich woman he did. You know, he was the most poor person between the people. He married from a rich woman. She is twenty five years older than him. I am I am willing to marry someone she is 95 years older than me if she have money like Khadija Praise be to Allah. We have to uh, you know, we have to follow the step of the Prophet Sunnah, this is Sunnah my friend Sunnah. This is what they call it Sunnah to follow the step of the Prophet <clears throat> You know when Khadija she was dying do you know what Muhammad he said to her if you have my book uh, sex and Allah When Khadija she was in the in her in her uh, deathbed he said to her, Khadija, say, send my greeting to my wives. Khadija, she looked at him. She said, what? Did you marry a woman before me? Any women before me? She was like, what? He said, no. But Allah, he promised me to marry from Asiya and ma the mother of uh, Mary, the mother of Jesus. Look at the idiot. He claimed that Allah... He is preparing for him Mary the mother of Jesus and the wife of the Pharaoh Waiting for him in heaven in the bed for sex What a crazy cult What a sick man And yet they call him a prophet of God Say hello to my wives in heaven Really? So people if you like what the Christian Prince he do and If you don't mind uh, Hit like and share the video and download it. This video will stay on air online for 24 hours only All my videos they want to stay long I'm taking them one by one as you notice and the reason is I want people to download because a Christian Prince will not stay alive forever. I want you to keep this for your security for your kids. Time will come and this guy, his name is Christian Prince, will disappear. All of us we will die. And then the Muslim they will say Allah killed him. Yeah. No, my friend, I I will die anyway. <laughs> Nobody stay alive anyway, my friend. We know that. <laughs> yeah, your God, he can't kill anybody. <clears throat> Uh, so please download and share it not only in YouTube there's many websites you can share videos in share keep add notes take notes bookmark website like the admin they are posting you for a website the reference especially like we have a, a gentleman his name is Phil each time I speak about something he flood the text there with reference save his reference he's doing a great job I'm, I'm very grateful for this uh, person actually. He's very very good He's trying to help I like each time I do video you will see this guy He is posting 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 so I do what I do in by by voice He do what he do in text there. This is take a lot of effort by the way So we have to be grateful for this man. So take his reference save it bookmark it Organize it like make a make a section for women hadith about women make sections about hadith about Muhammad about black magic about uh, 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 Heaven about you know and my books my books is a treasure of Reference you will not find any book ever. You see my books is written in a different way. It's very simple to read Very th simple to understand and my English is very simple not because I'm, I'm doing my best to make it simple because my English is limited So it's very simple anyway So it's the same I the same way I, I talk to you here. This is the same way as my books is no, there is no different. You can notice right away that this is a Christian prince. So, I'm doing all my uh, uh, my effort so we can help each one of you, especially your childrens, your family, 
so Muslims will not deceive them anyone he watched those videos he will believe right away that Islam is garbage this is the same as taking a flu shot not because you like the flu but because you want to fight the flu so we are the flu shot against Islam don't wait until your son he meets somebody in school and they lie to him or your daughter teach them show them let them watch you know and for sure you can make them watch things fit with their ages like don't make them watch something we talk about penises etc when they are just kids so you, you know you maintain what is good for your kids to watch or to read explain to them share with them discuss with them don't think those things we should not talk about don't wait until the problems happen and then you you, you have no choice to, to talk about it. it's going to be too late all right so let us help everybody and I'm very thankful that there's many people they are trying to help they are translating my books to many languages thanks to Lord to the Lord he he provide me with the best people ever they have a great heart they translate and they don't even get paid I don't I'm not a rich person to can afford it to pay them people who translate to German language French Dutch uh, uh, Swedish uh, Indonesia um, Malay uh, I mean many languages wonderful people I don't even know them they don't know me they we never met I'm very grateful the Lord is good and always he sent the good ones in my way and this is actually one of the one of the things I'm amazed about it's, it's how the Lord he sent helpers each time I need something in the middle of nowhere somebody contact me and I trust my feeling I trust my Lord that this person is decent because you know sometimes they can they can be even a Muslim contact you I, but I trust I never the Lord never put me down always when somebody contact me and he says to me I want to do help you in etc I don't answer him right away I wait for my Lord to give me a signal if I receive it I say yes you and then we go for it and he never fail me God is good my friend and the Lord the Messiah is amazing and he use us the same he used me he used you too so let us be partners for good you remember two days ago when a Muslim he left Islam he called me I told him I want to have a competition with you who remember who remember a very a very nice nice gentleman who left Islam and became a Christian I told him I want to have a competition with you in the year 2019 I want to see how many you will make how many you will make them come to Christ and how many I will make to come to Christ I told him this is a good competition between me and you I want I want I want to see you doing better than me and this is my target I want all of you to share in this competition and I pray that all of you will do better than me I have right now a lot of people who accepted the Messiah and I'm happy for it but still I feel guilty there's a lot more need to be saved so what about you shouldn't you bring one in your lifetime just one I mean you cannot bring ten bring one do you remember the parable in the Bible where where, 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 the, where the Lord he gave uh, investment for three servants one of them he hide it and the other two they invested this is not about money my friend this is about how many you will bring with you how many people you help how many people you saved time go fast yesterday I was a kid tomorrow I might die so if you think you are living forever you are mistaken you might go to bed you never wake up life take us steal us life is 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 is, is like a dream people they are they have an obsession with money and food and clothing and fancy cars and etc but nobody take anything with him to the grave that's it you, you know one day they will all the money you have they will take you a bunch of people maybe even you do not know maybe your family will not even go to your grave they dump you there they put some dust on you and bye bye enter that nobody remember you unless you are a person to be remembered there is people will be remembered by people and by the Lord and by the angels of God and there is people to be remembered for being evil like Muhammad and there is people will not be remembered for they did nothing they are no one so you choose what you want to be my friend you want to be one of his children's so you will be called the prince 
and princes for we are the children of God or you want to be no one or maybe you want to be the prince of the darkness or his followers to follow Muhammad and heaven of vagina and penises and etc so we have to choose our direction what we want to be and where we need to go let us accomplish something so we can be remembered and when here we say remembered I want to be remembered by people they are grateful not because I'm asking for reward by people I made them happy not because this is my reward I, I my reward is to see people happy people they are with the Christ is saved so and me the sinner is no one I never claim to be a priest I never claim to be a bishop I never claim to be holy I never claim to be a saint I am a sinner may the Lord forgive me no one no one in the top of this earth is not a sinner everyone this is why the Bible says confess your sin to each other why we need to confess sin over to each other because we are sinners and we witness for our sin and we confess our sin for we are not proud about it but we condemn it and we fight it sin is not the problem lifestyle sin is the problem so if you commit sin and you continue doing your sin as a lifestyle that is a problem but if you commit sin and you decide to fight it and you go over it then you are strong and you are in the in the good track otherwise nobody nobody in this earth did not commit sin we are not this is what the Bible says hey, no one is good but God that is the Lord the Messiah he is the Good Shepherd so we don't want our sin to take us down we want to fight it and we want to overcome the sin and we want to overcome the devil and his promises sex and money and you know false glory heaven full of food and boys naked boys around us that's obvious it is from the devil there's no way God is a pimp be aware of false prophets who come to you in the clothes of a, of a clothes of a sheep but they are wolves Muhammad actually even even did not even use the sheep clothing he is coming to you right away as a wolf so how in the world do you believe in such a man what a shame what a shame a prophet who don't respect your mother and my mother a prophet who believe that every woman is the devil she come in the shape of a devil and she live in the shape of the devil if we cannot respect our mothers we respect who the women who carry you in her womb for nine months the women who cry for you cry for your tears the women who die when you see you dying the women who go crazy when you see in her son getting hurt how in the world I would accept that somebody saying that my mother and your mother go and come in the image of the devil that is not from God my friend that is not from God this person he have a mental issue crazy sick and he is possessed by the devil Not a single thing about him is right. And the first thing you learn in this cult that it's a man-made religion made by the man for the man and women are nothing but sex toys. That's not from God. The Bible called Adam and Eve Adam in case you do not know. Before Eve was called Eve she was called Adam too. And God, He created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Eve's. That would make family. Not a man with a with a, with with a bunch of women. That is nothing but a pimp. Real family is based on love, not in lust. A man who need more women, he don't care who is she. He just need more women. There is no love in Islam. Even in the heaven, you go to heaven, Allah promised you women you never met, you never saw before, you don't even know their names. They are just made for sex. You open your room, you find women naked waiting for you and they will jump over you. That is sick. The heaven of Islam is nothing but a sex business in Thailand. 
where the bars of naked women waiting for anyone it doesn't matter who is he he is sick he have AIDS he have madness he's crazy he is a criminal he is a killer who don't care all what they want is his money thank you everyone for being here and until we see you again may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord and Islam is false and we see you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.